The thing about living in a big city, I promise it's filled with many talents. But since my talents was on the basketball court, dribbling the ball, I spent a lot of time at the rec center. But I was always told that the real ball was played on the blacktop, so I spent most of my summer there. And after I balled there for a few months, you know I needed more exposure. So I made a wise decision to hop on that train. Travel to the big city, you know where the rich kids, the scouts, and the big crowds at. When I'm on that court, I got them sure how to play the game of basketball today. OJ's way. OJ's way. Coming right into the Barclays Center with a chip on our shoulder. Got a lot to prove to the number one team in the East. And these dudes really think they're the best team in the league. No, you might have the best record because you went against the easiest teams. But now you're going against one of the, the underdog teams that got a lot to prove. Come in here as a rookie, get a lot to prove to these veterans, all these knees. I don't pass the ball out, find my man wide open. It's my boy Equity Bennett actually giving me assists for the first time in a long time. Now, if y'all watch my videos, y'all know he barely gave me any assists. Look at Joe Johnson, can't even make a simple layup. So me, I'm just seeking now as I'm coming up the court, looking at my options. Go ahead and back out. Throw it to the inside, trying to find my boy Alonzo G. And he giving me another assist right there. Now, I'm just, you know, trying to adjust back to playing in the shooting guard position. Because ever since I came to the Cleveland Cavaliers and I started, for some reason they had me playing the three. Because of Kyrie was starting. But for y'all to ask, where's Kyrie? Kyrie is injured. I'm going into the paint, showing my muscles, showing my strength as I go over the nicely up getting the and one. Kyrie injured four to six weeks, but he should return in the first week of the playoffs. Me making the bad pass to KG right there. D Will in the paint going over the nice layup. On a fast break, finishing the play, but it's okay. He decided not even slow it down yet, so I'm going to the baseline, and I got Joe Johnson on me. I know he about 32, 33. I got to show him that he's a young man in town. I'm blowing past him, going up, ducking on everybody. What is they thinking, showing that I got these bunnies? I got these J's on, man. I got a lot to prove that I, I can, you know, withstand the pressure of being under the brand Jordan. Now, one day, I will have my own line. I don't know if I'm going to call it the OJs. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have my own brands right there. I should have got a block. Rewind the clip. And 2K said the ball would never go through your hands again. Come on. I palmed that ball. I played a lot of great defense a lot of times. And right there, that's where they screwed me. But look at the nice assistance. I kick it out. My boy Dion Waiters knocked down the three. But I ended up getting benched a few plays later. But coming back into the game in the middle of the second quarter, you see I'm crossing over trying to make my way in the paint. Going behind my back, just reading my options, seeing who's out there. And I'm pulling up with a mid-range jumper, knocking the facial down. What is these dudes thinking? You don't give me no space, man. You got to hack me, man. Hack me like a little geek that it is. But look at D-Will with a nice step back, showing his posture in that air. Just knocking down a great shot. He's, he set himself up for a great move. Right there, I'm blowing my way in the paint. And me, I'm trying to get Bynum started. He's been kind of quiet. Right there, he get a shot blocked. But I'm getting an offensive rebound. And like I said, I trust my teammates. I got to believe in them. Because they believe in me, I got to believe in them. I'm finding them Bynum right back. And I'm getting a nice assist right there. I'm not giving up on nobody. If you give up on your teammates, man, you might as well give up on yourself first. And right there, they call him one of them cheesy fouls. How is that a charge, man? He putting his hands all over me, but I can't, you know, push him back a little bit. And right there, I'm trying to get a nice block right there. I'm doing the best I can. I got a good shot defense. He ended up missing. He didn't score. So I'm calling for the ball going baseline. Decides to rise up and bang on Joe Johnson. God, see him down there as a victim. If y'all ever noticed, man, like, I don't even go hard at the beginning of no games. Like, try to get my team going first, and then I start showing now as I rise up and bang on his big man, too, as well. Because I see him as a sitting duck. Like, you don't disrespect me in that way. Like, you don't supposed to give me no chances. I'm supposed to force the issue on everything. So, right here, I'm moving around, scoping out their defense, seeing where their head's at. Right there, they decide to go in the post mode. They try to double team me. I'm spinning the opposite way, knocking the shot down because these dudes are not ready. I said about, by the time I'm the age of 30, man, I don't can go ahead and retire. I'll be the all-time scoring leader because me just balling out in my rookie season, just two nices right here. I'm finding Tyler Zeller getting a nice layup. Picking up a nice assist, trying to get everybody going. When I'm on the court, everybody's in the flow. We move as a team. I ain't moving as no individual. I can take over this game if I wanted to. I can drop 67 points a game, but it's bad enough. I already got to drop 40 just to, you know, keep us in the game. Because they're all like a defense. It's right there to hitting a turnaround jumper. Showing these dudes I got the range too. Y'all all know that. Like, y'all know my, my jump shot is just freaking sick. It's right here moving around. Anthony Bennett don't even know what to do with the ball. Look at Bynum struggling. As he tried to a nice move, getting the ball loose. I'm right here in the paint. Hitting the side of the backboard. But guess what? I'm getting this steal right here. Going back at him. Hitting him with that body. Is right there. I'm catching the body. Throwing it up with the left hand. Getting the, the go. Rule number one. Don't ever underestimate a man. When he's coming at you with full force. Number two, don't let me get on that fast break. So I'm going up and jamming it down. 
don't disrespect me. You better play the best you can at all times. Only missing two field goals this entire game right there. Almost getting a turnover. But me going back into the paint, going up, getting my shot blocked. Falling down. Wish I would have got a foul right there. I had all kinds of contact. But finding my way back on defense, you see me eyeing it down. And right here, I knew he was going to try to throw it back to the top. But I'm right there. I'm getting a steal. Calling for the South Go with the Jordan Duckers. I'm flying and throwing it down. A few inches back, it would have been right there at the free throw line, man. That's crazy. But coming back into the game, we down three. Look at Paul Pierce hitting with the veteran moves. That's his favorite go-to move, and it always works. I think Paul Pierce will have that to the day he leave the league. Like, come on, man. What the bad pass? Whoop! Going past him, pulling up deep. S -s Snap that net. No. Come on, man. Got too much range. Way too much range. It's right here. I'm coming right back. We down four points. Hit him with that stab back. Decide to pull up. Knocking the three down. Getting that shot to go. These dudes cannot see me. And we play some terrible defense. Look at the way D. Wills is making his way in the paint. I'm calling for it. Got that one on two offenses. I lob it up. Look at that man fly as he throw it down. He was just in the air flying like literally. Like I seen wings. <laughs> Did he drink a Red Bull or nah? And right here, Joe Johnson playing some great offense on me. Imagine, I got five fouls. I'm trying to play as best as possible without getting a foul. I did my best. I could have jumped at it, but they probably would have blew the whistle. Right here, trying to get the ball from Deion Waiters. I decided to go ahead and I'm pump fake, move around, see where his defense at. Decided to blow past going up, throwing it down because you know, he can't move as fast as he could. And right here, we're trying to make sure we get a stop. Right here, look at D. Will. That's an offensive charge, man. His foot was planted, but guess what? They let him get it because they're at home. I'm trying to get the ball from D. Waiters. You know, I'm just doing the best I can. Trying to you know, keep us in the league. And right here, I'm calling for it. And they get the steal. Joe Johnson was baiting. I reached in, got it my sixth foul. Ended up getting fouled out the game. I'm just looking like, really? Now I got to believe in my teammates to bring this home and after you know the game simulated we end up coming out with the victory by two points 107 to 105 they said Bynum went off I went to the locker room I ain't gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest I went to the locker room and they said Bynum just freaking dropped like 12 points in the fourth quarter but look at them walking to the locker room looking hella tight man and all I know man like the video subscribe leave a comment and I'm out body bag GTA intros is coming back I'm letting y'all know right now